Yo, welcome to the channel, the channel called Keep Low. You know what I mean? Thank you for rocking out with Keep Low. I appreciate you all. And I am Lashim the God. You know the company is called Keep Low. You can go to www.keeplowproductions to get your Keep Low Production shirts. Yo, like and share this fucking video. You dig? Hit me with a thumbs up. Yeah, dig? I'm giving you that real shit. And if you don't know me, I do videos on street legends. And, you know, I give you knowledge that'll help you elevate your life. So, once again, go to www.keeplowproductions.com and just fuck with me. La Shame the God. Peace. Yo, peace, y'all. What it do? La Shame the God. Keep low. We definitely in effect. Yo, check it out. Um... If you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. It's called Keep Low. I do videos on street legends, and I give you knowledge that help you elevate. Yo, check it. Today, I want to do this video on five mistakes that street legends or street people, mostly D-Rug dealers, make in a game. This video today is about five mistakes that D-Rug dealers or people in the streets Make. Number one, and this is just for educational purposes, but number one mistake that street people make or drug dealers, which is drug dealers just for edu educational purposes, the mistake that they make is they hang out with other drug dealers or other street people that's engaging in illegal activity. So that's one mistake that they make and they be in the same circles as them. Like a lot of people that's getting a large amount of money, they like to show up with other people who are getting large amounts of money. And they like to go to the same spots that those people frequent. And that's a mistake that a lot of people make because it's detrimental to you. You know what I mean? Especially if you're dealing with some illegal activity or something to that effect, going to the same car wash where all the big time drug dealers or street dudes get their car wash. You could get kidnapped or, you know, just put your life in danger just by being associated with them because the alphabet boys, the AKA feds, the DA or whoever could be watching them and they could end up watching you from just associate with people that you're not in the streets getting money with. So it's better to just do your own thing. That's just in my opinion. The second mistake that I see a lot of street dudes and a lot of drug dealers, that's drug dealers just for educational purposes, but big time dudes, the second mistake that I see them making is um, instead of just getting a nice female that'll rock out with them or having a wifey, they like to pop the same females that be at the parties with all the big time willy dudes. And they like to just chase all the well-known chicks that or the other big time dudes is doing and that's not good because you know what I mean um the average dude you know they they messing with different chicks in the streets but a lot of dudes be tender dick you feel me so they be pillow talking and trying to play bigger than they are or just trying to show off to females and they be telling females they business and then the same female that they telling their business is fucking the next nigga that they saying is they ops or saying that is they rival in some kind of way or they competitor in some kind of way. And it's a small world. So information goes around. So that's another way that a lot of big time dudes or street dudes put themselves in danger because they be popping the same chicks and then the chick end up lining you or she just give too much information to somebody that you didn't want to have the information. So that's the number two. It'd be like messing with the same females as other dudes. The number three mistake. And look, by the way, these, these mistakes that I'm just, this is my personal perspective from my analogy 
of being active in the streets and being in the game at one time. But this is just my analogy of seeing things that transpired with a lot of the street legends that I do in my videos and, you know, things of that nature. But it's, it's a consistent thing that goes on with people who's getting money. These are the mistakes that they make. So they got to implement better principles. But like I'm saying, they not in chronological order. I'm not putting them in no kind of order. I'm just giving y'all the five things that I think. So back to what I was saying, the number three mistake that most street dudes or um, drug dealers, just for educational purposes, that's getting money in the streets, the mistake that they make is they want to be mad flashy. Um, look, um, people as human beings, we competitive by nature. You know what I mean? Like if two little kids, three, four years old, they start running down the street, he going to be like, I could beat you. And they're going to race and be competitive. So people are competitive by nature. So, you know, especially like in in a D-Rug game, and a lot of people according this too, um, when they in a drug game or they're getting a lot of money in the streets, if somebody buy a nice car, they try to buy a better car. Or if somebody buy a nice piece of jewelry, they try to buy a better piece of jewelry or a big mansion. They try to get a bigger mansion. Or even with the billionaires, they try to get bigger yachts than one another. And I'm not saying that you can't live your life and enjoy the finer things in life because that's your prerogative. But what I will say is that one of the wealthiest men in this world, Warren Buffett, he drive a Prius or fucking Toyota or some shit like that. And he don't be going out to fancy restaurants, even though he could buy the whole restaurant or buy a fleet of restaurants. He be going to McDonald's, getting his little meal through the drive-through. He been doing the same shit like 20, 30 years. And he got billions. So that's just something to think about. Even though you might feel I'm a king and I got to live my life and I got to have all this extra shit. But that's on the individual. But that's... The number three reason why I think a lot of drug dealers or street people who get money make their mistake by showing off their wealth. You feel me? Yo, an example of showing off your wealth was Boy George, big time dude from the Bronx. Good dude, solid dude. You feel me? Shout out to Boy George for staying strong and just enduring his shit and not telling on nobody and just standing for the principles and morals that he said he wanted to do. You know what I mean? So I respect that. But at the same time, he, it's alleged that he had a pool and the FBI went by his pool. And in his pool, he had the words obsession. And that was the name of the drug that he got arrested for. He had a, a dope just for educational purpose named Assess Obsession in the Bronx. And he was getting mad money with it, millions of dollars. And he ended up buying a mansion with a pool that set up session and the feds ended up checking it out. And then another thing is he was partying and he threw a big party on the yacht, but all the staff were fed and that's how he ended up getting caught. So that goes to show you being flashy and flamboyant ain't it if you're in the streets, you feel me? That's just my personal opinion. Y'all get in the comments and y'all tell me. Going to number four. Okay. The number four mistake, the fourth biggest mistake that I see um, street people that's getting money or drug dealers, drug dealers that's getting money just for educational purposes. But the fourth mistake that I see them make is telling people too much of your business. You know what TMI means? That means too much information. Now, a lot of times, um, I see it, especially with, you know, big time drug dealers or dudes that was getting scamming money or some type of illegal money in the streets. I see it a lot of times that when them alphabet dudes, the FBI, DEA, whatever, come to um, get you or whatever for what you did, if they don't really have the the person good, 
what they'll do is they'll be like, oh, your uncle did something or your mother did something. And it might be your mom's had mad traffic tickets. They might just take her car and arrest her and put mad pressure on your family for shit that the person who was dealing with the illegal activity was doing. And I seen it just yesterday on a television program, but um, the FBI, his brother, the dude on the television program, his brother had firearms in his house, like 20 guns, and his guns was all legal. But when you have legal firearms, you can't have no drugs around your firearms. So he just had like a little bit of weed that he was using recreational for his personal use. And he, he had a little bit of um, cocaine just for educational purpose for his recreational use, so 20, 50, whatever he had. And the feds raided his house, hoping that he had some recreational um, drugs in there. And he just had a 20 of weed and a 50 of the other shit. And look, he had 20 guns and he had a three-year-old in there. And they was telling him, we're going to put pressure on you that, you know, they was talking amongst each other, the feds, they're going to put pressure on him so that he could tell on his brother that was doing something illegal and he was a legal man. Even though, you know, he had some weed, weed is legal and he had some, you know, controlled substance in his house, but he only had a little bit for his personal use and then it was in his residence. So he still was kind of right because he was in his own residence. But um, that goes to show you that, you know, like when you're in a game or you're in the streets, don't be telling your mom what you did because it could haunt your mother later. Don't be telling your wife. You see like Gotti and all of them mobs to do I'm pretty sure they wife know, but when the feds come to get them, they don't really mess with their wife because they leave that street shit outside and they don't bring it into their house. So that's just my advice to whoever's in the street game with um the number four joint is don't be telling your business too much. You feel me? Okay, another example of how telling your business could get you messed up. Now, y'all be watching my videos so y'all know Al, who Alpo is and y'all know who Big Head Gary is. I'm going to make this brief. But Big Head Gary and Alpo was the rich and Alpo out of town, meaning they was good friends or they was strong associates, right? So Alpo was messing with Gary in D.C. Gary was a millionaire and Alpo was a millionaire and they were both kilo dealers. Y'all know that just for educational purposes, right? So Alpo told Gary, I need you to give me like a million and a half dollars and I'm going to throw like two million or three million and these dudes is going to give me six million worth or whatever. And, you know, then we could make this much worth because it was going to be six million in both. So Gary ended up telling this dude who he knew that was locked up. He said Alpo got the deal. And when Alpo do the deal, he going to give him the one and a half million or whatever. But when they go to do the deal, he going to do Alpo and take all the stuff. But Gary's friend was locked up with Wayne Perry. And he ended up telling Wayne Perry, who was his friend, that his friend Gary was going to do a deal. And he didn't know that Wayne knew Alpo. And Wayne called Alpo and told Alpo. Alpo ended up bailing Wayne out of jail. And they both did Gary. You see how running your mouth will get you? So too much information ain't good. Okay, I'm up to the fifth mistake that street dudes and drug dealers make. And the fifth mistake is, again, females. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. It's called Keep Low. And look, this is no disrespect meant to any females. Because y'all just females. Um, like Wayne said, Tammy just going to be Tammy. Like, she going to be her. So, there's no disrespect to females. But this goes out to your tender dick dudes who can't control your emotions like a, a strong man. And, you know, be a dominant man that a female could look up to as her king. You feel me? And that's a lot of times 
dudes make mistakes with the females. I'm going to tell you how. They make mistakes because they start getting some street money or they start getting some drug money, drug money, you know, for educational purposes, right? So you start getting a large amount of money. Now, you've been rocking out with Shorty for mad years. She's been your boo-boo. She was there when you ain't had nothing. She was rocking out with you. But now you're getting all this money. You're getting all these material assets, Benzes, cars, going out to expensive restaurants, seven star shit, vacations, whatever. And a lot of females is being attracted to you. So instead of just maintaining your composure as a, a strong, intelligent king, and I'm not telling nobody what to do because if you want to have multiple females, you could do that all you want. But I'm just saying what I've seen where a lot of people made this mistake because they start, they end up start popping all these little chicks who everybody else is popping, who them chicks ain't about nothing. When you got a good wifey at home who's solid, who was holding you down and you doing her filthy, you feel me? And not only you doing her filthy because she hearing shit in the streets or she calling you and you not giving her the attention that you once was giving her even when you were still getting the money and she know a different because women got women intuition and they not stupid, you feel me? But um, then you start neglecting her um mentally and and girls you gotta keep them with you mentally and emotionally because females are emotional creatures and you gotta you know um keep that fulfilled with them if you're a good king you feel me and this is where a lot of dudes they neglect a female and then she start acting out because she wants your attention you feel me and when she start acting out and you still don't pay attention to her because the average dude when she start acting out he gonna if he's getting crazy money he gonna be like i don't got time for this instead of taking time for home he gonna break out to them street chicks you see and then your, your chick going to stop acting out because she lost interest in you and she going to end up leaving or she going to end up cheating. And once homeboy start paying attention to her mentally, she going to get comfortable with him and she going to start talking about your motherfucking business. And then when he start blowing her back out and sticking all kind of, you know, to her and she be feeling that shit in her toes, she going to really tell him your business. And that's how you ended up getting lined up and your life just go down the dream. So this is just the five things that I'm telling y'all that um, I see street dudes make mistakes. And I'm gonna even give y'all a bonus. Number six is they get caught up in the four devils. And if you don't know what the four devils, the four devils is envy, lust, jealousy, and greed. You feel me? But don't get caught up in that. My channel is Keep Low. I'm Lashing the God. Keep Low is the channel. If you not subscribed, subscribe. You dig? Get this video a thumbs up because I'll be giving y'all some real shit. You dig? And just rock out with me. Like and share my videos. And stay tuned for the next video. We're going to keep pumping this channel. You feel me? Keep Low. We in fact. Yo, peace to all of y'all.